Hello, my name is Courtney Zimmerman, a 2007 graduate of Turpin High School and a Master's of Zoology student at Miami University. Through this video, I hope you learn a little more about mass balloon releases and their impacts on the environment. Some common uses of balloon releases are for memorials, weddings, funerals, celebrations, sporting events, and contests. Releasing balloons can be viewed as emotional or celebratory and are very eye-catching. Writing messages and memorializing the death of a loved one or celebrating a marriage can be reasons why people release balloons. The emotional aspect of balloon releases can be hard to overcome when considering the environment. However, the balloon industry has produced some myths about the effects of balloons on the environment. One of the most common myths is that balloons are considered biodegradable and decompose at the same rate as an oak leaf. This study was backed by balloon advocates and does not always hold true. Balloon packaging often states that it is made up of 100% latex, which is a naturally occurring sap from a tree. While latex is biodegradable, it is not the sole component of balloons. Many chemicals are added to balloons, deeming them non-biodegradable. Responsibility for the environment should not be excused due to this improper labeling. Virtually nothing released directly into the environment can be deemed 100% safe. Despite these facts, false information is still widely distributed among the balloon industry. What is released into the air as a seemingly beautiful act of love and remembrance must eventually come back down. Foil and mylar balloons have caused power outages and fires. Despite their labeling, latex balloons are not fully biodegradable. All types of balloons pose a hazard to wildlife. Additionally, helium is a finite, non-renewable resource that should be reserved more for medical advancements and NASA and the space industry. The balloon industry claims that once latex balloons reach a height of 5,000 feet, they burst into slivers that supposedly aren't harmful to wildlife. This rarely is the case because many balloons descend fully intact or with pieces hanging off, as pictured here. Either way, these balloons are still littering the earth. These balloons were found washed up on a beach in Florida. Supposedly biodegradable, these balloons are still largely intact after being exposed to the elements for two years and nine months. Balloons are harmful to wildlife. Many of them mistake them as food, which blocks their intestinal tract, or become entangled in the ribbons, often dying as a result. Here, the resemblance of a biodegradable balloon to a jellyfish is uncanny. Animals have a hard time telling the difference. While balloons are marketed as biodegradable, this is not the case for the ribbons attached to them, yet they're released along with the balloons anyways. Sometimes, rescuers reach these entangled animals after it's too late. Balloons are not just a problem for marine life. Birds in urban and agricultural areas have used balloon ribbons as nesting materials. Their nestlings can get tangled in the ribbons, causing trauma or death. Land tortoises have also been reported to be entangled in balloon ribbon, and countless other land animals have been impacted by balloon debris. Despite this doom and gloom, you can make a difference. You can refuse to participate in outdoor balloon releases and instead take a pledge to be balloon litter free. You can also participate in alternative activities that still celebrate an event or commemorate a loved one. You can say kind words of memorial, plant a tree, organize a race or walk in remembrance, blow bubbles, hold a jump rope contest, or organize a kite flying day. The possibilities are endless and the earth will thank you. Thank you for your time and I appreciate your participation in my research project.